All right, what is going on today, YouTube? We are going to be doing some um, commentary over some replays because, uh, as you know, uh, on Thursday I was not able to upload because I did not get home in time. So um, throughout the day I was not e even able to record during that day. So I just started dueling and recording. Uh, at first I was going to get some replays, like uh, so like some just dual replays. But every time like I, I end a duel, it just loses. It says lost connection, so I can't save it. You probably will see it probably like once in this if I did not cut it off before then. But um, yeah, it, it, it just, I don't understand it. So I can't, I can't save those replays. It was a very good duel I had against Mermails where I sat there uh, and waited. Like, I think I went Shogun Saga. Yeah, I went Shogun, not sure, it's Sun Saga. The level 10, I went that first turn and set three traps and pretty much waited and baited out everything he had. And then this one from there. But as soon as I attacked four games, the guy quit. And then it said lost connection, so I couldn't save the replay. But anyways, uh, before we get into uh, the commentary, what I want to talk about as the title of this video, I would like to say if you guys do enjoy this video, leave a like, leave a comment, and also subscribe if you have not already. I upload a minimum of three videos a week, so you guys definitely have something to look forward to throughout the week. And if you guys can, click an ad to help support the channel, which would be very helpful. And I would thank you guys very much for it. So the topic of this video as um, the topic with uh, pretty much everybody, mostly everybody in the Yugi Tube and community, is where is our ban list, Konami? And uh, people, you know, are expecting a ban list and all that. And uh, you know what? I can't blame them. I cannot blame them at all for wanting a ban list. I definitely want a ban list. I'm very surprised that we don't have a ban list. Um, and then a lot of people are talking about, um, like, uh, it, it could, you know, it was not a lot of people, but Glasgow talked about uh, how. Konami told us pretty much, I guess, to wait on it pretty much until they're done. A lot of people are like, you know, not, I keep saying a lot of people, but like Capital G said uh, that uh, pretty much, you know, it's expected. And uh, my, my two cents on it is, uh, do we actually need a, like a new ban list right now? And just for like playing purposes, no, we don't. We don't need a ban list because pretty much the, it, the, the game pretty much uh i guess corrected itself as a problem with kieran kieran being a problem level eater stuff like that the shit people do want to get see get banned and all the problem cards like union hanger buster dragon st you know stuff like that it pretty much corrected itself because now there's a bigger and better deck than that out here and it's you know it's none of that's happening so if uh, if if we're looking at it from the the whole standpoint of do we need another ban list? Is it like necessary for another ban list? No, we we don't technically need a ban list because like I said before, the, you know the matter pretty much corrected itself. Now, with that being said, even though we don't technically need a ban list, I still want a ban list because what a ban list what it does is give everybody that fresh, you know, I, I'm ready to play again. Like after after a ban list, every time, man. I, I don't know about you guys, but with me. Every time I see a ban list, I'm just excited to play. It's just, I, I'm ready. And, and like, it's like, okay, it's been six months. It's been six months, no, no nothing, no adjustment. And you guys have the power to adjust cards or rata cards, but we still don't have anything. And that's just, that's just unacceptable. Like, why, why can we, we just need a ban list. That's all we need. Even if you're not doing big major hits, like, just do something, you know what I mean? Adjust something. Take some cards out of the game. Take the problem cards out of the game that everybody continues to, to complain about. Like, the, the, it's just, that is just ridiculous. Like, Karen is ridiculous. I still hate Karen to this day. But is it necessary? Like I said, I, no, it's, it's, it's not necessary. There's no real reason that we, you know, need a balance. Everything is cool as of right now. I know people don't like Zodiacs, but I don't think hitting Zodiacs just out the gate is... Like, what, what, what are you going to do with that? If they hit Zodiacs, it's going to be back into the same format we just had. And nobody likes that. So, I mean, nobody liked it the previous, technically the previous format before Raging Tempest because everybody said it was getting stale, which I, I, I don't understand. Like, every, like, if you can go look at history, not history, but you can go look at, like, the last year. After three months, everybody is stale. After two months, everybody, oh, the game is boring. The game is stale. No, the game, to me right now, is as fun as it's been over the past year. Like, like if you compare what? It was, we're in March. So, 
Let's go back from start of January last year when Pepe got released to right now. This is the most fun I've had with this game currently. Is it because of, you know, we did get some new support? Yes. I mean, but also it's just I really want to play this format. And I, I don't know. I, I'm not this format, but I just really want to play. Like, I want to go to locals and stuff like that. Even though I, I can't go, you know, consistently, I still do want to go. Like, if I had a way to go every time, I would just be, I'd be going every Saturday every you know wednesday stuff like that but i can't do that but like i said I, i'm just excited to play i like this format i don't know but you guys i like zoo i like zoo for what it does like i i like that it's not oppressive like you know pepe and stuff like that like i'm i'm, I'm glad it's not like pepe like i've been saying that since uh i said that in my last zoo video like when i every time i talk about zoo i, I, I always say the same thing it's it's not it's a great engine it's it's yes it's consistent Yes, that, that, that is very consistent. It'll do you wonders if you're playing the deck. But it's just not like, it's not it's not where you can't play against Zoo. It's not where you can't, you know, function. Like against Dragon, like against ABCs, if they set up a Dragon Buster Tsukiyomi set three, what are you going to do with two cards in hand? Like, what, what are you going to do? Like, objectively, even if you do uh, uh, like bait out the buster you still got a three with three you still got to deal with three more monsters and three back rows and then you got to deal with another buster next turn that's that's ridiculous with with fucking uh what was it what was it before was it a uh, pepe was it metal flows pepe i don't i don't know i don't yeah it was it was metal flows that came out after that like metal flows is cool. i like playing against metal flows uh, like i said that i mean i don't i have a problem with metal flows. like i said in my in my band list video I really don't know what you hit, but the other consistency cards, the lower the consistency. But that deck is, you know, it's it's cool. ABCs are a bitch to play against. I hate. I don't. I don't understand why. I, I hate Paleozoics. I, I just. I, I just don't like playing any trap deck. Like when uh, Heavy Storm got first banned. Heavy Storm first got banned, and then after that, it was the Hero Sun deck. I hated that format until the end because I finally figured out how to beat it, and then like a month after that. You know a band list came out and you know i was a little upset because i was like fuck finally i figured out you know the trap cards i want to use all this stuff to beat the deck but then now the format's over but at, at the same time it still gave me that new life like that's the only reason i want a format like just plain and simple that's the only reason i want a format. i don't want a format to fix anything because i don't really don't see a problem besides like kieran level eater you know vanity's emptiness like Norden, like all those cards are just like you see, like right there. There's this lost connection. This and you, like I don't know if he quit or it just lost connection, but it it coincidentally happens every time it's at the end of the game, or my opponent does not have you know. I mean, he he's pretty much on the edge, like right there because he couldn't use diagram because he wasn't using it the whole time because he only plays two the Earth one. So yeah, that's uh that 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 what was happening like every time I get a real good duel, but. Uh, what where was I at? I, I forgot where I was at. Hold on, let me let me let me try to remember why we watched this duel. Um, what were we talking about? We're talking about the yeah the band list. Uh, yeah okay yeah now I know where I was at. I was at I was saying that um I, I just want a band list because I, I just want to get that you know fresh feeling. It, it's not really necessary. I mean oh yeah okay there we go find it yeah I, like I was saying it's not really necessary to get a new band list because nothing's really the problem except for Kieran. Uh, Vanity's emptiness, level eater, shit like that is just, you know, those are just they they've been problems, and, and Konami just needs to just fix that. If they if Konami doesn't even have to do a full ban list, like simply hit problem cards that nobody likes. Like I I mean besides even besides like Pendulum players, I've never heard somebody say they like 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 Karen. They they think Karen's okay. Like Karen's not okay. Vanity's emptiness needs to go because it's. It's just it is it's getting to the point where it's just is ridiculous. Like it's 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 literally a game winning card. Once you flip it in the decks that is nowadays, like you you really can't do anything. Norden is just a combo extender. I use Norden, and I I know that Norden should not be here because even with zoos is with zoo is just ridiculous because you can pretty pretty much turn Norden into what, what it, it pretty much becomes a plus two because you can search off a of bullhorn. So it's just it pretty much becomes a plus two. You can go to two exceeds with just an instant fusion, which is that that shouldn't be around. It, that should have been got you know hit. Um, what else? Level eater because you don't want any FTK, oh, Omega spam decks stuff like that. Omega, I, I hope they don't hit Omega because I, I definitely don't want that to happen. But 
I can see it happening. And also, like, uh, you, you don't want to keep waiting because the long uh, the, the reason why everybody wants a balance now is because the longer we wait is the more like we have to invest in we have to invest in sets like we have to invest in new cards that are coming out and right here I messed up I should have summoned Unizombie because right here I could have sent Mizuki targeting the Sage um, and then sent the Mizuki but I did not have to use no I, I could have sent the two no yeah I could have did the same play but if I would have got Unizombie, because look, Sage gets banished, and I would have got this back. And then that Sage right there that's on the board would have been a Unizombie, and I would have been able to go into a, uh, what's the name? Yeah, that would have been able to go into something else. So then I would have been able to go into another level 8. So that would have been good. But yeah, um, damn it, I forgot where I was because I started talking. And look at this hand. Beautiful hand, right? Look at this, look, beautiful fucking hand, right? And then, look, look, it, it's fucking Kieran. So it's, ah, God, I hate this card. But uh, what else? What are they talking about? Omega, like, no, no. Another reason why everybody really wants to ban this is because uh, around January, you, you've seen a lot of people selling cards. You've seen Omega at the lowest price because everybody was selling them. You've seen Crystal, Crystal when you shout out because of DDDs, but you've seen, like, a lot of great cards go down. And the reason that is because everybody starts selling because we're expecting a ban list. And the longer, the longer we don't have a ban list or an adjustment list or whatever the case may be, is that uh, we don't fucking, uh, we have to keep start investing in these cards. I mean, start buying these sets, start buying these new cards. And once we do that, let's say, you know how, uh, what is it? What is it called? Uh, the last set that just came out with the invoke, with, the inv with that. What was it called? Fusion Enforcers. Now we invest all in that, right? And let's say they just decide to hit something in there. Then we're wasting all this money. We're everybody's trying to prepare and play competitively, but we don't have a list to go off of. Like it, it should be literally at the start of every YCS season. Like after the last YCS ends for like a month, like in December, I think we, I don't think we had a YCS or if, if maybe one. But you know that little time period where we don't have any YCSs, any regionals and stuff. We should that's that should be our ban list period. We should get them right then and there because. You everybody's excited to play because we've been waiting so long to play. Everybody's excited to play. So it's like if you do a ban list right there, you get peak interaction with players. Like everybody going on to play. You don't have time you don't have that, oh, well, I'm tired of this format, or we, we're still dealing with the same shit we was dealing with last year. And that should not be the case at all. Um, we should not be still dealing with the same cards that were forbidden, you know, the cards that got eliminated or some cards that had semi lip we should not be dealing with the same stuff for over for more than six months. Now, now the three month ban list, I, I, I liked it at first. I liked the idea of a three month ban list, but then again, it's like, why would you? Uh, I mean, I didn't like the three month ban list because it was it was too fast. Really, everything was getting hit, so they stopped that. Uh, six month ban list, I would just believe is perfect because you get two sets, so that means. You know, you get all the you, you get all these cards, or you get all these sets and stuff like that, and now you get to see what's happening. Now, after six months, generally after six months, that's when you get nationals. That's when the end of you know YCS regional seasons happen. So, bam, you get it. You we get a list, and bam, it fixes everything. Okay, everybody can play. Bam, and then the, I liked it like their adjustment list where they say, okay, well we're gonna do it at any time. You know, I liked it at first, but then I thought about it and I kept thinking about it. And I was like, okay, well, this is stupid because now at any given time, they could hit a card. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, that's good for problem cards. But let's say like their ban list is, okay, well, we want to hit a mega one. Like, it's not a ban list. It's an adjustment list, like they say. It's an adjustment list. So that means they're just adjusting the game. They're not really doing anything. Like, it's better off to just have a ban list than just have an adjustment list. Like whenever they want to, because then there's no, there's no, uh, I guess there's no time window for everybody to be prepared for it. Like back in the day when they had set ban lists, I can know, I know when to get rid of my cards. I know when to, you know, get rid of stuff. I know when to keep stuff and, and just stuff like that. And it was just, it was just better for the game in general. I, I like being aware of doing, you know, aware of where, what's going on. I don't like to be in the dark because that just, how does that feel? You know, it, it, it just, it really sucks. So I, I really think we, you know, we should get a ban list just because it's going to just renew interest in the game. But I don't know what Konami's thought on this. I don't know why they're not giving us a ban list. I don't, I know it's not too hard. It's really not hard 
the game is is very fun as it is right now perfect until link summoning come out then that's going to be stupid maybe that's their ban list is that since link summoning come out why should they even do anything because this is only going to be for what a couple of more months and then everything's going to change so maybe that's the reason but that's still that's still a shitty excuse for a, a what's name for not giving us a ban list i really believe that we deserve a ban list and to touch on a little thing that's happening right now as you see i'm trying to fight through his board and the reason i sent um i sent unizombie off of gozuki because of what i was going to do was revere jack mech itself uh and pop itself and get the unizombie back to my hand and then summon it and i thought i did a pretty good play as you see right now end with silver and so sun saga in the mech and so I'm thinking, all right, he can't do anything. And then he goes into battle phase and he attacks with Mandrew. And I'm like, okay, what the fuck is he doing? And it's a fucking honest. And I was just, I was like, I was prepared for anything because Mech is going to get the uni back for next turn. So I can beat over his Chaos Max. But that, that honest just fucking wrecked me. So yeah, that is it for today, folks. See you next time.